Hello and welcome once again to Ground Zero Militaria, your humble custodian of military antiques. So today I thought we'd take a look at this particular visor badge, visor insignia, for the Water Customs Service of the Third Reich, uh, World War II Germany era. So it differs from the standard uh, Land Customs visor cap badge. Uh, in colour. Uh, this is a uh, gold colour whereas the standard Land Customs badge is the same design but is silver in colour. So it appears to be made out of a kind of a bra uh, brass I think, struck in brass I would think, with a uh, gold coloured uh, gilt plated finish. So in fact, I think I'm getting my own light, so I'll take it out of the cabinet. Um, we'll take it across the room. And we'll use the camera stand. I should have really done this before the video, but I didn't realise how much I'd get in my own light. <laughs> That's much better, isn't it? So... The custom service in uh, Third Reich Germany uh, performed uh, and was charged with all the duties and responsibilities you would expect of a custom service except that uh, they were also an armed paramilitary service because they were um, charged with defending uh, the borders of the Reich both on the land and in the water. On land and at sea. So... This one is in rather good condition with both its fixing pins and it's a little scarcer to find than the standard silver one, the Land Customs one. And of course it would have been worn above the cockade and wreath on the visor cap. So, I don't yet have a cockade and wreath for it. Uh, you do see them around, but more often than not, they have a pin or two missing from the from the rear, and I'm waiting to find uh, one with all its fixing pins. So, there you go, guys. Only a small insignia for tonight's video, as I have made videos for a little while, um, and trying to get back into the swing of making them. So thanks for watching as always and bye for now.